Hi, Gail here. Welcome to Radio Kidnappers. This is life coaching. This is through life, through my lens, and through my experiences with people. I have learned a lot by observing people, by living through difficult situations and experiences, and survived. So my first message to you would be, if you are here and you are listening to this, uh, you are a survivor. You are strong. We uh, don't think we are strong because we suffer through things. There is a lot of pain. There's a lot of hurt. There's a lot of anguish. There is a lot of self-reflection that goes on when we go through uh, painful times in our life. And we think and feel weak at times when we let ourselves down, perhaps, by what we say, by how we act, by what we do. And, you know, that really is human. Um, so I guess to understand that to be able to be a human, you must be able to be emotional vocal, communicative, and uh, action, responses, and you will let yourself down at some point, maybe many times in your life. You will wish you had done better, had handled things better, uh, could have seen things in a different light so that you would have experienced it in a much more helpful or positive way. It is not a problem that you struggle. It is part of the solution. It is part of the process. Struggle gets you down the road to heal. And sometimes these Spaces you find yourself in, we'll call them spaces because sometimes you feel detached. Uh, you feel not part of the world properly or even in your body properly if you have had trauma or shock and an experience that has turned your world upside down. You are able to experience it because it is part of a breaking off of the old, a breaking up of the old, no longer useful going forward in your life, um, aspects of your life and situations. And by feeling these states of being, whether it be spacey, detached, whether it be angry and fearful, uh, anxious, stressed, through going through those spaces, and there are many more, you actually are traveling somewhere else. You are traveling on, you are traveling forward in your life. You are traveling to a better space and a better place through all of this discomfort. It is never permanent, it is always temporary, and it always changes. And you know, however you are feeling or have been feeling, this year particularly, there's been a lot of upheaval, there's been a lot of changes, there's been a lot of relationship disturbances, there's been a lot of um, individual people going through hardship, hard times, just on a kind of internal, mental, emotional level uh, with these situations and with the changes happening in their life, but sometimes without that even happening. If you are one of the people where nothing really has changed on the outside, where your life is humming along like it normally does, but inside you're not feeling like you fit anymore, that life isn't really giving you those things that you need or you've come to a bit of a boring place, a bit of a 
place where things don't matter to you like they used to matter to you. It's because you're getting ready for a change, but you're already undergoing a change as far as your, your um, I'm going to say your chemistry and your way of viewing the world, your way of viewing the things that you do in the world. You are getting ready for an upgrade. You're getting ready to step up to something new in your life. And it could be completely new. It could be something so new that you can't even imagine what that would be right now. And all you have to do is keep going, is to hold on. And I just feel that if you are a woman, you have a lot of inner understanding about You know, the fact that these things do happen and we do go through these things because we're highly emotional and we have, have all sorts of emotional cycles we go through all the time in our lives and then at different stages of our, our life. And so we know we've ridden through those. So we know that we can ride through this mostly, even if we don't want to, even if it's like we've done everything and we are just rejected or betrayed or not valued or misunderstood, uh, we still have that inherent something in us that knows that it's just this phase. Yes, we might not want to be in it and we may want to escape it. We just, if we check ourselves, we know that we will get through this. We will survive this. We will come out of this and we can hope that it will be better every time always and I say this a lot because this has been my life experience the only thing that helps me to hang on through hard times is it will pass my mother taught us this it will pass it will change it will alter and it will be better than it was. Always it's improvement. You know, we, our body grows bigger and bigger and bigger because it just does. And sometimes we don't want it to grow bigger when we're as tall as we can be and we don't want to grow any bigger, but it still wants to grow bigger. Um, because growth and progress is part of this human dynamic we are in. We are forever in our society looking to improve something, make it better than it was before. And uh, yes, we can overcomplicate things and things can become less effective, but they look good. You know, technology looks good. It looks like it'll do the job. And if you're old enough, you look back and you go, well, actually, you know, the old, the old, phone worked better than this because there was no interference you know it um, you pick it up you dial it always goes through mind you we did have you know repairs and things that used to happen on the lines and things like that but there are other things and other examples that I can't think of right now that we are the old simple way of things worked exceptionally better than than now I can remember doing things manually back in the day and it was said that computers would speed up uh, speed up the workload, speed up the process. And you know those computers were so damn slow that by the time that they got up and even warmed up, um, you could have had it done. So I haven't seen a lot of change with that with technology, but anyway, that's a different subject. But what I would like to say to you is, there are other things out there in our world to get interested in. And I say this all the time because if you have something outside of yourself or something new or different that you can actually look at, it takes you away from the reality of your experience right now if it is difficult. And it takes you into a different space and a different place and engages your mind in something different to what it's thinking and when it can't solve the problems of now, it's better to think about something or anything completely different seriously. Otherwise it just puts us in this little pool of emotion. You know, the more you think, the more you feel. 
So you think you feel what you think, and if you change what you think, then you're going to change how you feel. There's a lot of different techniques out there, actually. One of them that comes to mind was hats, and literally to have a set of hats that all metaphorical ones that you could put one hat on for this is my working me this is who I am when I'm at work uh, so that's your working hat and then there's your putting that hat down when you come home so work no longer is part of your day putting on the hat of uh, you mum wife And that is your hat that you wear. And then another hat. So when you have time for yourself, when you make time, you have to make the effort to make time for yourself because otherwise you don't get it. You put on another hat and this is this, this is me. I am me. This is my hat. This is who I am. What do I want to do? Where do I want to go? And if you use literal hats if you actually have actual hats and you put those on and you practice doing that it programs you to actually be able to just think okay so work I'm in that work mode okay work's gone done yes I didn't finish everything today but I'm home family this is my family this is my hat this is my home this is my role here this is what I'm doing to um, involve myself in and then another hat and this is a special hat because the hat that is you needs to be put on you need to find time to actually put it on and be able to just be you and look you could be the carefree you you could be the child you you could be the one who just exists without work and without problems and without worrying about everybody else in your world. Just you and what are you going to do in this time and time is precious so if you've only got a short amount of time what are you going to do? Are you going to go and play in the mud? Are you going to go and um, stomp on in, t in puddles or are you going to do something creative or just go and Look at things that you'd like to wear. If you can't buy them, it doesn't matter. You know, you're involving yourself in the process. And while you do that, you are creating things and drawing things towards you in your life as well. So at the beginning of the month, we had uh, the cards for the month. And if you want to have a little look at that, that's back on the last show here at Radio Hawke's Bay. So... Uh, what I will do now, though, is I'm going to actually draw, draw some more. We're mid, almost mid. We're not actually, we're second week, but we're almost mid um, January. Uh, January. Yeah, there we go. There's my brain. I'm back at the beginning of the year. Like, maybe I want to reset the whole year. <laughs> you know, uh, life, life got very busy and pretty chaotic from January this year. So maybe that was a subconscious wish to sort of do a reset back to January. There are no mistakes. There are no, um, there is nothing that doesn't have some meaning to it. And the words that come out of your mouth absolutely have relevance and meaning. Um, I could never be a professional because I have things that just, words that are just non-relating to whatever I'm speaking about. But we don't want more of that. We want less of that. So it seems to be that some of you have already either thought about starting something new or have started something new in your life. You have, you have set one foot on a new path and then for whatever reason that hasn't continued. That's not flowing forward at the moment. And... So I would encourage you to revisit that. Whatever it was that you started, say, so they're showing the end of May. So around end of May, June, anything that you have started that you 
kind of got busy maybe, or you got distracted, or you got disgruntled or a bit sad, it says to revisit that. There is a new path absolutely for you, and this path is a happier path. So they're encouraging you to take another step. Do something new. Look around you. There, are, there is a whole new road in front of you to travel upon. And they're inviting you to do it with care and caution. But it's a bit like when you're at primary school, then you go to intermediate, then you go to high school, and you, then you go to university type of stages of our life. And it can be a bit a bit daunting, a bit scary, or just too much else going on, and we don't start things, and we don't carry on with them. So this just says there's a potential here that some of you have started and not carried on. For those of you here who are on a new path, uh, just carry on. It says that there are some of those things that you have been desiring in your life waiting for you ahead. So just keep going. Keep walking forward um, and see what happens. So I'm going to do two lots of cards today. This one, we're on for an hour, so I'm going to do these ones now. And then maybe toward the end of the hour, I will do another grouping of cards. And I'll try and remember this because it's, it came to me to focus in the last ha last part uh, of the show on finances for you, on your relationships for you, um, on family, and on anything uh, that, uh, that comes up, maybe even health. So when I, when I look at this, um, what I've just said about a new path, right? So the new path has on it, new money, new health um, aspects to them, uh, new family aspects to them, and new work aspects to them. So this is, what are you going to incorporate and invite into your world out of what's going to present itself? So right now, if you are actually on your path, and even for those that have kind of done a start and then a stop, even for you, just look around you. We are um, July, so July. There's a lot of there's a lot of introspection. You know, there's a lot of internalizing, but you've also got a lot of instinct, a lot of that um, kind of unconscious action. Uh, doing, thinking, feeling going on as well. So there will be, there will be uh, things to get involved with around you. So your instincts will just guide you this way or that way. And if you've been feeling a bit lost and a bit radulous, as in no direction, then you will actually um, be more ready and open to seeing those things coming toward you, okay? So, uh, I'm just letting the cards say what is needed for you out there today. So if you are watching this, what is helpful for you for the rest of July in your life? Just in general, this is inviting you to in incorporate into your life things that are lasting, and I mean long lasting, I mean things that actually you know mean something, they mean something to you. So if you've not done something that has been with you for a long time, it's in the way of if you have felt you've really wanted to search and, and research a certain area, then Go and look it up and find out more information. This is the month where you actually look at more. Uh, you look beyond your obligations of the day, your routines of the day. You look at, yeah, but what matters to me? Like what really matters is you. What really matters is how you feel. What really matters is 
that what you are doing actually has some value back to you. It may be that you are a carer and you give, give, give. That's great. Is that your passion? Uh, I'm using that loosely because passion is a very strong emotion. So we would just say, is it something that, that gives you satisfaction? Is it something that, that you feel validates your giving? Um, that rewards you for what you are able to contribute? Because July is kind of a midway of the year, but also a midway of looking at your life more holistically, I guess, uh, more in a well-rounded way. So you have work life, um, family life, you've got you, but you've also got, we've got structure in society, we've got the way we do things, but also there are, there's more than that. There are old ways. You know, the old ways were really good. They had a lot of useful, helpful um, information about well-being, about health, about how to treat people, about how to get cooperation from people. And those values can be reintroduced in a bigger way these days. So maybe looking things like that up, you know, what did they do back in the day? You know, to sort out problems and issues, okay, they blew people up, but not everybody did. That was just the powers that be. Ordinary people, uh, like for instance, during the war, they, they had to get together, they had to get on. They had a common cause, they were all there. It wasn't about, you know, race or gender, it was, and, and, and women, women, you know, who were regarded in a more of a lower status back then, were suddenly found useful and valuable, and, and uh, men realised that women actually had a lot to contribute. So, so the value of women kind of came up a peg or two, for a while at least, and definitely during the war. So this talks about, uh, as well, new paths as far as relationships go, because there's been a lot of relationships, and I'm not sure if you've gone through this, that have been really testing, gone through some difficult changes and alterations, and it's personal to each person within the relationship as well. So this says, July, the worst of the storm is over. It, it's done. It is not, um, it's not going to continue. So if you have one more major type of situation in a relationship, that will tell you that that is the last one. That is the end of it. Things will start to slowly improve. You might still feel the effects. You will probably still feel the effects of it because it's been huge, massive. It's been a long time for some of you. It is not something you can ignore anymore. So those are the cards that fell out. Also, it's, there's a, a caution, a little caution. It's like you have a new path. So it's a little bit like you don't, you don't just get up and go. You kind of be a bit cautious and careful about rushing out there and changing things and going your own way. It's like, hang on a minute. You really need, you really need to be a little cons sort of like considering your actions first. So consider what actions that you want to take, and not so much sit with them, but just make sure that you have prepared for what that will mean as far as other people go, uh, what that will, what the consequences of that will be for you personally and for others. And will it actually be um, effective? It's, this is about it, that new path being an effective new path, starting it in a really good way rather than in a a way that risks things that are special to you in your life. So, what else can I say about that? 
I just, uh, sorry, they obviously. So now is a time for positivity and if you're in a dark place, if you've been in a dark place, if you're struggling with a whole lot of things, posit the word positive, it, it's just off. It's just so far away, you can't touch it, reach it, taste it, feel it. You can't even perceive it. So positivity is to simply know this will end. Like I said before, this is temporary, how I feel this will end. This has a purpose. It is helping me to unconsciously resolve problems, issues in my life that haven't been resolved before, because that is a fact. These are problems that have caused more problems in your uh, present life. And these are problems that need to be put behind you, but resolved, not, not swept under the carpet. You need to bring them out, even if you talk out loud to yourself. You know, I'm a great believer in you talking out loud to yourself. Even if you talk out loud to yourself, you hear in your own voice say these words. They are non-abrasive. They are honest because they are yours. And they tell you things in the words, but also in the way you structure the words about how you're coping. Um, how you've dealt with things in the past, whether you have actually been proud of how you've dealt with those, and admit it if you ha aren't proud, you're human. Of course you're going to not be proud of having everything the way that you can now perceive you could have done it because we're not perfect. We learn and grow. We go through the mistakes because then we know how to improve things. So forgiveness of self is very, very big huge actually it's one of the things that I've had to learn my life uh, through actually it is I was very hard on myself I can still get hard on myself not so much anymore but I was so so hard on myself even as a child for the mistakes I made for the things that I would I would get words in my head and I couldn't speak those words and I would get annoyed and angry because the words that came out were not effective words. They weren't what I meant to say. And uh, you've got to forgive yourself. I mean, I understand now that as a child, I had to learn language. I needed to learn how to articulate words. I'm still learning. I had massive amounts of learning through my um, late 30s, early 40s on how to speak, on what, how to say the words that I wanted to say and communicate the feelings I was, I wanted to communicate. And you know, I still have to be mindful of that all the time. It is, it is, not a gift I have. Some of you out there have a gift of speech and we all have different gifts, but a gift of speech is a gift of communication. And if you have a gift of communication, you can get through situations, misunderstandings and problems with other people a, a lot more eloquently and a lot more effectively. So forgive yourself for every mistake you have ever made in your life because the mistake that you made was because you didn't know and because you didn't mean it. You didn't mean to make the mistake because nobody likes to and you know that because you haven't forgiven yourself. So forgive yourself that you made the mistake, acknowledge you learned something from it because you did and you learned that next time you know you'll say something different, do something different. And yes, maybe you'll let yourself down again because this is a slow reprogramming, uh, mindful process. It does take time. So, yes. So what we're going to do now, I'm going to do a complete,